Hi, this is Dr. Chan Janbon from Isaac KL. Today, I'll be talking about the do's and don'ts after cataract surgery. So now my cataract surgery is done, what happens next? Usually, there's no pain after cataract surgery. You may feel some gritty sensation and some discomfort. The vision may be blurry, it may be wavy, but that is normal. The next question will be, when can you go home? You will need to rest about 1-2 to two hours after your cataract surgery. You will need to sit down or lie down to relax. Do not shake your head or bow down. Your lens may move, especially if you are a high description patient prior to your surgery. For your transport home, I do recommend you to pre-plan the journey home as you may not be able to drive after surgery because you may feel slightly giddy or nausea or even vomiting at times. The blurring of vision may last for one day and you may want to have a designated driver, get a taxi or pre-plan a grab driver for yourself. Now here comes the most commonly asked question, the don'ts after cataract surgery. Do not rub your eyes after a cataract surgery as they may cause a wound leak and the lens may also move as well. Do not lift heavy objects as it may cause a straining into your eyes and the wound may leak. The object not to carry is about 10 kg or a pail of water. Do not bow down as the lens may move within the first two weeks of your surgery. And do not splash water into your eyes, especially when you're bathing or washing your face. Just use a towel to wipe your face or your eyes area. Next thing not to do is not to swim, as swimming waters are dirty and it may cause a high risk of infection. Do not do heavy exercises as well, such as mountain biking, jogging, badminton, or gym, or even tennis. You can do brisk walking or stationary cycling. As for preparing meals, I wouldn't recommend you to cook. Just ask your loved ones to prepare meals for you. If you have to prepare a meal for yourself, get something light. The next thing not to do is to go dusty places such as construction sites or wet markets. Do not do gardening or painting as well, as irritants or pollens may go into the eye and cause irritation to the eye. I do not recommend to have sexual intercourse after your cataract surgery as well, as this may cause a wound leak on the lens to move. Here are some special circumstances that you may like to know. In the sleeping position, you may sleep to your left, to your right, or sleep straight but not in a prone position. You may use iPads or your handphones or watch TVs, but not in a prolonged period of time. Give it a rest since you just did your surgery. You may feel some dry eye symptoms when you watch too long. So what is the recovery period of a cataract surgery? It ranges from just days up to months, but the usual time will be one month. In a mature cataract or complicated cataract surgery, it may take a longer time for you to recover. It differs from person to person. There may be some factors that may prolong a cataract surgery recovery, such as dry eyes, a swollen cornea, a diabetic patient, or very old patient. What are the things that will happen during your follow-up with us after your surgery? We will be checking your vision every time you come back to follow up with us to make sure that you can see. We will also check your intraocular pressure to make sure that it's not high and is within the normal limits. This is because the medication that is given to you may cause a side effect of high intraocular pressure or it could be high due to a retained gel in the eyes during the cataract surgery or it may be due to a normal post-op inflammatory process. We also check the wound 
to make sure that it's healing properly and there's no signs of infection. We will look into the general well-being of the patient as well to make sure you're doing fine. Next, about putting in your eye drops. You need to put your eye drops according to the operating surgeon. Usually, you'll be provided with antibiotics and steroid drops. The doctor may tell you to reduce your eye drops as the day progresses. You will need the medication up to one month period. Remember to wash your hands before putting in your eye drops. This is to show how to instill medication into someone else's eye. Open the cap of the bottle using your right hand with your little finger and instill the medication into the eye or the lower eyelids of your patient. One drop is good enough. Just close the cap after that. Next is to show how to put medication into your own eyes. Open the bottle cap as usual and pull your own lower eyelid looking into the tip of the medication, tilt your head back and instill just one drop of medication into your eyes. You can blink a few times, close the bottle again. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you understand more about cataract surgery. Thank you.